This video is going to show you step by step how to set up an NFT avatar for your ENS name. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to buy an NFT that we can use as our avatar. And we got to make sure that it's an Ethereum ERC721 NFT. So I'm going to purchase that on OpenSea. Then I will transfer it to the dataslayer.eth wallet address. So if you're going to reference an avatar, it has to be held by the same ENS name. So what we're doing is we're transferring our newly purchased NFT from OpenSea to our ENS wallet address. It has to reside there in order for us to use it as the avatar. Okay, so I have my NFT here and I wanna use this as my avatar for my ENS name so that when I use my ENS name to log into certain dApps and things like that, it will auto render an avatar. So I'm opening up my NFT in OpenSea and what I'm trying to do here is construct the URL schema which ENS requires for setting your NFT avatar. There's a blog post here that is a good resource and I'm just gonna copy kind of the format that's utilized here. And you can see it says EIP 155 colon one forward slash ERC 721 colon contract address forward slash token ID. Real quick, unlike Ethereum, there's no gas limit on expressing your gratitude. So go ahead and click that like button. Thank you. So the only information that you have to swap out here is the contract address and the token ID. And these are both determined by OpenSea and Etherscan, so you can reference those to find those values. Okay, so I'm just gonna connect to the ENS service here. Okay, I'm just gonna confirm the metadata changes for my ENS name. And it's gonna pull me over to Rainbow Wallet. Okay, one caveat to keep in mind when setting your NFT avatar for your ENS name is that the NFT must be an Ethereum NFT and it must also be using the ERC721 standard. So most marketplaces, for instance, OpenSea, will provide these details. So for instance, this NFT is on the Ethereum blockchain, that's great, but it's the wrong standard. It's ERC1155, this is not supported by ENS, so this would not render properly. Whereas this guy, this is what I ended up using for my avatar, it's on Ethereum and it's ERC721, therefore it would work. Now to get it to work, we just have to construct the URL schema using the contract address, token ID, and a couple other values. Okay, so I do wanna show you real quick how to construct the URL that you would plug in for your avatar on app.ens.domains. So it's always gonna be EIP155, colon one forward slash ERC 721 the token standard colon this right here is the uh, contract address for the NFT so the way you can get that is if you come to OpenSea and view your NFT it would be this guy right here and it's also going to be available on Etherscan so you just copy that and then forward slash token ID token ID again is going to be uh, visible on OpenSea so it's right here and then that gives you your, your URL that you will plug in as your avatar for your ENS name. So now when we go to app.ens.domains and we authenticate using Rainbow Wallet, we can see the MetaMask associated with our ENS name. See, I put a URL in there, but I also put in my NFT, my ERC721 NFT, to serve as my avatar. And uh, it's kind of a random NFT, but I, I just bought it for this purpose. And so when I traverse different websites, if I authenticate using my ENS name, it will be able to auto pull in information like my description, my URL, my Twitter handle, my email, and my avatar. As always, if you wanna stay apprised of the latest around emerging tech, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks.